So I've just got off the phone to NHS. They can't do anything. Um, apparently you have to apply for funding. I'm in pain, but you know, you're gonna have to, because I paid for it myself abroad. Basically it's unlucky. So if ever you have breast construction and it gets messed up, get it done in the English hospitals because the ones abroad, if they mess up over there, you're screwed. And you have to pay more than you originally paid to get it fixed. Yay. <laughs> but on a good note, I've got my Excalibur and I've got the stuff to make my pizzas. So I'm gonna make raw pizza and that'll make me happy. Um, pain's horrible. Not taking anything for it because there's no point because then you become accustomed to the medication, don't you? It is what it is, you just get used to it. Um, but it was a good conversation. I didn't know what I was doing contacting the NHS. I just thought I'd give it a go. So now I've realized that that's not gonna work. They said I can write a letter and say it has some pain in me. Um, and I'll put that forward, but they doubt very much. And I said, I don't mind paying for it myself. I would just like to know where to go from here because I'm a bit stuck. I don't like being stuck. Oh. Sometimes you think you're alone and you're lost in these situations, but I've got my mini me is so supportive at the moment. It's fantastic. And my best friends are downstairs barking away. They make me feel awesome too. So that's the good thing. But it's um not nice not knowing. So I have to just keep it the way it is. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But it's, it's a bit crap, isn't it, when you don't get what you want? I have to find another way around it and see. I just want to stop this pain, it's horrible. So basically, I have a dent in my left breast and you can feel the implant. Um, I have pain down my arm. Virtually, it's not constant, but it's a lot. Um, very uncomfortable, feels like someone's leaning on a pins and needles, a bruise type pain. Um, if I do a chin up, my, you know, when people tense their boobs, this boob feels rock solid and yeah, nipples are in different directions, yay. <laughs> they look cross-eyed. If I lift my right arm up, um, a thin tube-like thing sticks out of my arm, which I haven't had before, so it's not that. All these people telling me, uh, no, 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 it's wrong. No, too many mistakes. So if you're going to have an operation abroad, cover your fucking back before you go. Please learn from my mistakes. And don't make the same ones I did because they're mine. I won't let you. But yes, yeah, so I am going to get the Excalibur done in on. I've got some kale. Um, some buckwheat soaking now. <clears throat> so make some covering for the kale, make some kale crisps. Super excited. This is where it begins now. I have all my raw food. I bought some more raw flipping chocolate. I'm going to stop having to do this. Going in these shops and they have all this raw stuff. How dare they? But that's not, that's obviously processed. So I've been having processed foods, but not processed foods as in so these are these are still raw so that's good anyway i'm going to go and find another way out of this oubliette anyway have a super day